Inference Plus Story Short Number 18, Series A. A week of sun, sand, and cocktails on the beach had left Monksy feeling more relaxed than she'd felt in years. Even so, it was always good to come home. As her Uber pulled into the townhouse's driveway, she quickly peeked into her purse with a small wrapped package nestled inside. A pair of delicate seashell earrings. A thank you gift for Granny for agreeing to house sit and feed the cats while she was gone. Zeus and Hades could be a handful. She hoped they haven't given Granny too much trouble. There's my boys, Monty cooed, bending down to scratch them both behind the ears. I've missed you so much. They were uncharacteristically eager to see her. Normally, after she'd been away, Zeus and Hades snubbed her for a couple of days, remaining aloof as a means of expressing their displeasure that she'd abandoned them. This time, they purred and meowed and wove around her ankles enthusiastically before bolting towards the kitchen. She followed them, ready to grab a bottle of water. She was parched from the long flight. As she opened the fridge, she glanced over to the cat's food and water bowls. Totally empty. No food, not even a drop of water. She frowned. You guys were thirsty today, she said, picking up the bowl to fill it. Both cats ran immediately to the bowl and began to drink greedily. Monsey filled their food bowls next, and they attacked the dry kibble eagerly. You guys usually hate dry food, Monsey said, cocking her head in confusion as she reached down to pet them both again. Why are you guys so needy? Monsey's stomach let out a grumble. She needed dinner. Not wanting to wait for Grubhub, she decided to have a quick look in the chest freezer in the garage, a tank of an appliance passed down from Granny, to see what leftovers she had on hand. She thought she remembered a Pyrex full of chicken noodle soup she'd made before she left, and maybe even a couple of pints of ice cream if Granny hadn't eaten them already. Maybe she'd skip the soup and go right for the ice cream. She pushed open the door to the garage. The cat's litter boxes were overflowing. She wasn't surprised. With Granny's bad back, it would have been hard to bend down to clean them. Monsey would give them a good scrub after dinner. She reached down to open the freezer. The door was heavy and difficult to lift. Her back gave a groan of protest from the effort of holding it open. They don't build stuff solid like this anymore, Monsey mused.